What is the darkest, most disgusting secret in your past? NSFW NSFL. One time in college I was drinking with friends who proceeded to shame me after I passed out in their company. Besides the usual stuff, like drawing on my face in permanent marker and pouring beer on me. They filled my ears with ketchup and mustard and I think one of them peed on me. In any case, after talking to them the next day, I figured out it was mainly the work of two guys who were roommates. I laugh it off and pretend it didn't bother me. Even though it took weeks to get all the shti out of my ears. So the day everyone left for our three week winter break. I urinated in a thin metal tray and put it in the freezer. After it froze. I emptied it to get a solid sheet of frozen PSS. And I slid it under their dorm room door. Fast forward three weeks. And their entire dorm room smelled like PSS. And I heard their carpet was technically alive. To make it even better. Maintenance didn't get around to replacing the carpet for about a week after classes started up again. And the guys were charged damages. No one figured out how it was done. Since the only people that had access to the dorm rooms were the RAS. I had a little 2 cm sticker photo I got printed out at the seaside. It was a picture of me smiling. I used to get completely naked and stick it on the head of my penis, flax it. I would then move my foreskin up and consume the picture. Once everything was set I'd run out my room and find the first family member I could. They'd look at me and I'd shout where is he? Then they would respond in some fashion and I would reply here he is. Whilst furiously retracting my foreskin to expose the sticker. Dark times. I was in the stall taking a shti after lunch in 7th grade. My friend comes into the bathroom and starts throwing paper towel into my stall. Next I hear him walk up to the urinal which is a stall away to my right. I reach into the toilet and throw one of my turds over the stalls and it smacks the ground by his foot with a nasty splat and it exploded all over his shirt and bottom of his jeans. I heard him scream then run out. I had to run out of my stall and pick the turd up with paper towel while another kid came in and saw me doing that. My hands smelt like shti even after washing them three times. And my friend smelt worse. TL. DR. Threw a turd at my friend. My freshman year of high school. I went on a trip to Disney World with the marching band. We were on our way to ride Splash Mountain when I realized that I really needed to take a shti. I was too shy to ask my entire group of friends to take a bathroom break so I could poop. So I just squeezed my cheeks and hoped that I could hold it all in until someone else needed to go to the bathroom. We were about halfway there when I decided that it would be safe to squeeze out a little fart to take some of the pressure off my bowels. Worst decision ever. What either would be a tiny discreet fart turned into a full sized turd erupting into my undies. Luckily. The turd was pretty firm and dry. So it just kinda sat there. Cradled in the crotch of my underwear for a few seconds. Then, with a swift adjustment of my underwear, the log just rolled out of my skirt and plopped to the ground. I looked back about 5 seconds later and the shti was gone. Some park sanitation ninja must have scooped it up about as soon as it hit the ground. As far as I know, none of my friends noticed but I always wonder if at least one of them will forever remember me as. Double quote. That girl who shti in the middle of Disney World. So. Yep. I took a shti in Disney World. In high school. Because I was too afraid to ask my friends to stop for a bathroom break. This isn't really that dark or anything. But it is pretty hilarious. So my uncles all hunt and they would go to a taxidermist and get some of the things stuffed. I was about 7 or 8. And they brought home these two huge stuffed bears. Not stuffed toys or anything. Actual stuffed bears. And they were posed to stand and got set up in the playroom at my grandmother's. I don't really remember what my thought or motivation behind it was. But I have a distinct memory of sitting on the floor cross-legged. And this bear's private area was right in my face. And for whatever the freaking reason. I was like. Oh shti. What is that little nub? I'm going to wrap my lips around it. About 20 seconds later I realize it was a penis and then freak out because I thought I was pregnant. TL. 
DR sucked a stuffed bear's penis and thought I was pregnant. When I was a kid I went to jump off a diving board and I slipped on one side pretty much landing on my VG known a side ward split. There was a ton of blood and I only had a small tiny cut down there. I'm pretty positive my hymen broke because of it but I never talked to my mom about it after it happened. I killed a man in Laos. A robber. I didn't mean to. Hit his body and everything. I'm going to freaking hell. Four years ago I found my girlfriend on the floor of her bathroom after having shot herself. We were pretty much inseparable for quite a few years. So people tend to bring up whatever happened to her? A lot. Because of that. I actually have a somewhat elaborate lie that I tell people so I don't have to tell them the truth. In 3rd grade. I cheated on my history exam. In 4th grade. I stole my uncle Max's toupee and I glued it on my face when I was Moses in my Hebrew school play. In 5th grade. I knocked my sister Edie down the stairs and I blamed it on the dog as when my mom sent me to the summer camp for fat kids and then they served lunch I went nuts and I pigged out and they kicked me out us but the worst thing I ever done is that I mixed a pot of fake puke at home and then I went to this movie theater. Hit the puke in my jacket. Climbed up to the balcony and then. Then. I made a noise like this. Hua 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 in Iosa and then I dumped it over the side. All over the people in the audience. And then. This was horrible. All the people started getting sick and throwing up all over each other. I never felt so bad in my entire life. Went to my friends at age 8 or so he said dude you gotta try this dog milk it is delicious. He then proceeds to suck his dog off until it comes in his mouth. Lost a good friend that day. When I was in the 6th grade. There was a girl in my class named Gina who was horrible to me. She constantly made fun of me, I was a shy, bookish girl, and once even had a birthday party and invited everyone in my class except for me. In the 6th grade we had a project called, Egg Babies. Basically we all got a hard boiled egg that we had to treat like a baby, make a little nest basket for it and take care of it. We weren't supposed to even leave it out of our sight. The idea being to teach us responsibility. Apparently our class was deking around too much with the egg babies. So our teacher told us that at the end of the week. If our egg was cracked. We would get an F. One day while the class was out at recess. I was allowed to come back into the classroom to get my inhaler. Gina had left her egg inside the classroom. I looked around. Then walked over to her egg. And tapped it on the desk. Breaking the bottom. Then I put it back in her basket and went back out to recess. Gina ended up failing the project because her egg was broken. She was really pissed off. I never told anyone. And I still don't regret it. Frick you. Gina. When I was a child. I lived in a foster home. I had my own room. With a TV and every day I came home from school and watched Fox's Fun House. Had me a crush on MR. J. D. Roth, one day another girl came and moved into my room. I wouldn't have minded except she was mean and controlling and wouldn't let me watch my beloved show. One day she told me that her mom actually lived a few blocks away from our house. And I convinced her to run away. I didn't realize at the time that runaways ended up getting sent to a group home. I just knew that I wanted her gone. It's been almost 20 years since that happened and I still feel terrible. I hope she is okay. Me and my sister drew hunt three times. Almost got caught the third time so we stopped. Spanked it in class in the ninth grade. The class was in session. They knew. I'm 21. First week in my new apartment I take a shower and walk to my clothes hamper in the nude. I let out your typical fart. And somehow end up shitting in the floor while just standing there. That fart betrayed me. When I was younger. It would have been year 5 or 6 of primary school. I had this weird sort of had this gay thing with another boy. I think it was attention seeking at first. We'd kiss to gross the other kids out. Just on the cheeks. But occasionally on the lips. This all culminated in something rather strange. He was round my house. And we were kissing a bit I remember, yep. 
I must be B, and I had this sleeping bag. What we did was go into my bathroom and get into the sleeping bag together. At some point we decided that we were going to touch wheels. I remember saying I was going to get completely naked for this act. He was a bit more shy and only lowered his trousers. So we lay in the sleeping bag pressing our boners together. We did this for a minute or so when my mum knocked on the bathroom door saying she needed the toilet. The amount of time it took for me to get my clothes back on I imagine I, I was obvious something strange was up. I can only imagine my mum's face now as we both walked out awkwardly carrying a sleeping bag. I feel kinda weird about it as the boy took a turn for the worse recently. He's got some mental problem. He seems disturbed. And to this date I've never done anything with another boy. No one ever mentions my gay period in primary school. Maybe no one remembers. Or I have friends good enough to not give me shti for it. First time I've ever said all this. Throw away. So I was about 8 and I just figured out that grinding my penis on things felt good. But I was searching for something better. I came up with this brilliant idea. I went outside and found the family dog. Took him to my room. He was a one big great dane. He really liked ketchup. So I took a bunch and put it on my penis. Few weeks later we had a daily licking session. My mama walked in on me one time. I've suddenly felt the most surreal adrenaline rush run through me with shame and embarrassment. I thought I would have received the beating of a lifetime. Instead my mom laughed uncontrollably for a few minutes as I was crying out of shame. She didn't do anything to me. But she did say. When you grow up. You better have enough money to pay my rent. Can I just ask a quick question? What prompted you to finally tell this? Did you wake up this morning and go? Double quote. Today is the day I come clean about the cat v Gina incident. To the internet? Because I'm quite curious about the impetus for this. I used to think dirty thoughts about a kindergarten teacher. I was in kindergarten and we're both female. Granted my idea of dirty was hugging and rolling around. I have never told this to anyone. Growing up in a rough neighborhood and having to act tough to survive made me a sort of rebel. I remember walking across a street one time chewing gum when I noticed a peculiar sign that warned against littering. Thinking of myself as a badass. I spit my gum out on the street in an act of defiance against the man. When I reached the other side I heard somebody curse out. Instantly knowing that they had stepped on my gum. I turned around and watched them struggle to pick the spent gum off their she. Enjoying the moment. Out of nowhere. A horn blew and I saw the speeding bus for only a moment before the pedestrian was obliterated. I left the scene. When I was 12 I went to my grandpa's house and since he was a hunter at the time he had this huge ass stuffed bear but it was empty with a hole in its back. I thought it would be funny to climb inside and be a bear. So I got inside and as soon as I got inside my grandpa and some of his friends that had come over that day entered the room where the bear and I was I waited for what felt like an hour as they discussed guns and bears and tea. I got bored and. Being a 12 year old who had just discovered the wonders of fapping. Had the idea to rub one out inside the frickin bear. Once I had finished the dark deed inside the bear. I accidentally bumped into the wall the bear was near. Grandpa heard it and pulled me out with my pants around my legs and erection in full view of his friends. We never spoke of it ever again. E.L. DRI came inside a bear and my grandpa found me. I had SX at 4 for the first time. Basically we were just playing doctor and we understood that me and her, same age and height, could have intercourse standing. So. Yes you can have an erection at 4. Yes I did penetrate her. I just inserted my penis in her vagina 2 3 times a day and left it there. We did this for two summers and then she had a vaginitis so she told the doctor about it. In fact the whole neighborhood knew it by the end of the summer. 25 years after we are still very embarrassed of this when we cross each other. When I was 7. I counted up all my change in my piggy bank to open a bank account. My mom decided to exchange my coins with her bills. Letting me grab it from her purse before I went to the bank. In her wallet was more money than I had ever seen in my life. 30 dollars, 
and I took an extra 20 on the sly. She didn't notice until the next day at work when she discovered it missing. She accused her co-worker who was in the midst of having a mental breakdown of stealing it. Who rightly flipped out over the accusation. Their boss tried to mediate but ended up firing the co-worker over losing control of their anger. I hear the story that evening in horror. And throw the $20 in the garbage. I never told a soul. My life during the 90s is a bit of a blur due to an undiagnosed mental disorder. But on one occasion. My buddy was eating a sandwich that had been cross contaminated with a foreign object due to my own clumsiness. He was so upset that I chose to remain silent about my involvement in the event. Things got out of hand when he filed a lawsuit against the company that supplied the canned tuna on his sandwich. I finally broke down and confessed that I put the screw in the tuna. Throw away. This past New Year's I went out with my cousin to go see laid back Luke at Pasha in New York City. We ended up getting really trashed because we had free drinks for a few hours there. We both took some molly after a few hours and we both started rolling and were feeling amazing. Next thing I know my cousin starts grinding on me. And I grabbed her and started dancing with her. She reached up and grabbed the back of my neck while turning her head and kissed me while we were dancing. Not having a care in the world. I tried reaching up under her dress without any hesitations. Not only did she not jump. She moved down onto my fingers. We continued this until the end of the night while also doing another molly each. After we left. We took a cab to the hotel that we were staying at. We ended up having sx that night. Waking up in the afternoon the next day was really awkward as we no longer had the drugs and alcohol in our system. We talked about what happened. Agreed that it ended up being a really fun night. But that it could never happen again and that from then on we would never talk about it. I used to collect grasshoppers and crickets and remove their back legs so they wouldn't jump away. It was only a few days after I started when I realized how cruel it actually was. I still feel bad. And that shti was at least 18 years ago. When I was 5 I was hanging out with my brother. Playing soccer. He fell. And being the huge wimp he was he went to get a band-aid. I decided to explore a little around our apartment. I heard some noises. And when I looked around the corner I saw two people beating the shti of a younger kid. About 16. Then one of them said. Palabras filaments. Final words. And the teen said. Dios te bendiga. God bless you. He then made eye contact with me. They pulled out a gun and put a bullet in his head. They didn't see me until I started to cry. I went to therapy for years. And still wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. My parents and I were on our way home from a vacation and we stopped at a hotel. We watched TV for a while and then they said it was time for bed. So I curled up and was about half asleep when their bed started squeaking. I couldn't figure out what they were doing. But didn't want to bother them. So I laid there and stared out the window. About 20 minutes later. The bathroom light clicked on. And my mom asked my dad to grab her a towel. I never thought anything of it then. But a few years later. I finally figured out what happened and was absolutely horrified. 